Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, steamy Ohio day? It is humid and nasty, guys. To give you an idea, if you took some rain and mixed it with honey and then smeared it all over you right now, that's exactly what it feels like. And the horrible thing is, is I'm in the box truck right now because I need it. And about three weeks ago, TQ and Sean Boy were actually driving and uh, the air conditioner went out. So yeah, I haven't had a chance to get it looked at or recharged or whatever it needs. I'm not real sure. But anyways, here shortly, the storage units are currently being black topped. So I'm going to get you down there and get those looked at and see the progress. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, just got here to the storage facility and just glancing at it from a distance, it looks like they've started with the pole areas. All right, you ready? Boom. So as you can see, what I just mentioned around all the poles down there, they kind of got started on the apron. couple years in the making guys we wanted to have this done last year about this time but just didn't work out with uh coming off of the whole cove period everybody was swamped and uh it took a long time to get somebody scheduled to come in and be able to do it so uh that's what we're doing now yeah they they probably come in and do like the edges so that they can then roll the bigger parts out if you know what i'm saying Big shout out to Noah for coming over here this weekend and getting the rest of the gravel out of the areas behind the building here. And uh, they did a real good job getting it tapered down here. This area back here where the weeds are actually has a ton of black top in it. So there was no scraping done back in there. Looks real good. We will get these weeds and everything else taken care of. I'm thinking about doing uh, maybe some landscape fabric in here and then some river rock or something that we can just come in and spray it and keep it off. I might just leave it like this and keep killing it off, but yeah, trying to reduce how much weed killer we have to do. Anyways, there's that. I think I can walk on it, huh? Oh yeah, it was nice and firm. This is gonna look sweet. So as you can see up here, around the poles as well, poles as well. Boom. Looks real good, looks real good. So this is just the beginning. I'm gonna walk you guys around real quick. And then, uh, yeah, we got a, oh, they got a lot more over in here done than I thought. Very cool. And like I said, guys, this is Milhone asphalt. We got a long, long way to go. They got a compactor there, but we're getting to it. So here, I'll show you real quick. This area here, at some point, the previous owners came in with blacktop and put a blacktop edge around this. Now it does have some where it's broke down but that's pretty much what they did around most of this. See, it's all cracked up. So we debated scraping it all out, but it's honestly, it's, it's draining really well. You can see they got the big old drain pipe coming here. We are gonna clean that up, maybe even bury a new one to bring it out here to the drain. But uh, yeah, that's the game plan there. Maybe fabric it, rock it. I don't know just yet, but we're gonna do something back here. Uh, we thought about even doing another sign here on this part of the building, but in all honesty, as of right now, we don't really need much advertising because we're constantly full or 90%, uh, you know, or above capacity. I wanted to show you guys this though. And this is what I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get the city to help us out here. You know, we're trying to help the city out and raise value. Uh, our taxes go up every single year on this facility. And yeah, we're just trying to make it the best it can be. So. So all the walkways in our area, our storage facilities right up there, all of these in our area have been redone. So these are now wheelchair accessed. Now the sidewalks aren't the best, but I'll be honest with you, that's because the, uh, you know, folks they're cutting, but they're not, you know, edging and all of that and keeping them trimmed down. And, you know, it is what it is. I can't control the uncontrollables, but I would like to get our corner there redone 
And the sidewalks are redone. You walk on them, you could break an ankle. We got another one, Andy. All right, guys, one more skid will be going on. I'm gonna uh, get up in here and move some stuff around real quick. Spencer products, back in stock once again. And uh, you can check it out. I'll put the website up here and you can also go to the link in the description and check out everything. Always check back as well for updates on what we have coming. All right, guys, so I'd say they're probably halfway done at this point. They got the far right side of the property done. I'm assuming this piece here will probably be the very end piece uh, just because it's along the whole entire property line here. But I'll tell you what, this stuff is hot. You should feel the heat radiating up off of this. Looks real good. I know they still gotta do like some kind of glue or I, I don't know the whole asphalt term. So, you know, cut me a little break here guys, but they're gonna seal it. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it a seal coating. They're gonna seal coat the edge all the way down yeah i should i should probably google that one huh my mic's probably messed up too sorry about that anyways looks real good the uh gentleman's on the other side right now rolling so i'll come behind here i don't want to get in his way and i don't know when trucks are going to come it does appear they're on lunch break at the moment Come over here real quick. Making a ton of progress. Hey, I just used a roller like that, huh? So I'm hoping I can be here whenever a truck comes. I'd like to see it get poured and, you know, kind of how they smooth it out and do what they do there. I know that machine does it, but I'd like to see it in action, you know, up close, get you guys a good shot. Tell you guys what, this job is no joke. Imagine lawn care and then add uh, what feels like right now about 30 degrees for sure. All right, guys, so I'm just trying to stand back out of the way. Don't want to get ran over by a truck, nor a roller, or slow these guys down, you know? Last thing you want to do is piss some guys off that are burning up right now, because the faster you get off of that, the better. All right, so I had a more private conversation with them to make sure they were all cool with it. 
everybody's not a film person, if you know what I'm saying. So I want to be respectful, and I told him, hey, I'll take anybody out of the film if they want to be blurred out or anything. And he said, hey, we do photos all the time and stuff for customers, so they don't care. Pretty cool, I never knew it was a two-man uh, machine to drive. That definitely takes some skill. Okay, so he comes behind and torches certain spots. Okay, I see that. Must be like low spots or something. I was kind of wondering what the torches were for. So everybody's doing something, guys. So you gotta uh, stay out of the way if you get what I'm saying. It's crazy around here right now. Nice thick layer. Really cool process to see. You good? Uh, I'm just making sure the skid loader behind me is good. I'm gonna go around the front, get out of their way completely. Pretty cool, you can take something so ugly and Make it look way, way better. So this is where I was talking about with the sidewalk. There's pretty much no sidewalk left. And uh, <laughs> love for him to put, put a new one in. Cause you definitely ain't getting a wheelchair up that, I'll be honest with you. Kind of gives you a little sneak peek of what the finish will look like back in there. Still got the rest of that and then the other side and uh, whatever they have to do to finish it out. I got to run though and uh, what I'll do is I'll swing back later when they're probably done about 5 o'clock and uh, get you guys a walk around and get out of these guys' hair let them do what they do and not bother them anymore about 5 30 in the afternoon they've been done for probably an hour and a half or so uh, just getting a chance to get down here and this is pretty much where we finished up was right here on this end they were doing the centerpiece and uh, running the long strip along the edge so I'm just gonna move quickly and walk you guys around show you the finished product they swept everything even our neighboring uh, parking lot here 
and uh, that was really cool of them as well. Everything is super, super dusty, but as soon as we get our first good rain, that'll all get taken care of. So that looks freaking awesome. Looks really awesome. We're gonna have to get down here this week though, get those drains completely cleaned out. Come around here. Looks really nice. Gotta get the city out here to get that done once again. Get these walkways taken care of. Noah as well took care of a lot of the gravel here because we're gonna be redoing this entire area along the front. And uh, yeah, give you an idea of the turnaround spot here. It's all tapered down. It all runs right to the center. I am ecstatic with this. This looks a thousand times better. Let me step back. Yeah, that looks awesome. Very good, very good. I'm gonna probably pick some new ones of these up even though we really, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we even need these here now since it's not gravel? Will it eat over time through the blacktop? I'm uh I'm curious about that. Real quick look at it. Customers should be ecstatic. If I happen to find a company, we've been looking into a way to add some more units here affordably because it's not really worth coming in and building because really the only spot we have available is right here. Yeah, I think we could add probably a solid five more 10 by 10s over here or 10 by 15s, which would be nice to give us an in-between size of our 10 by 10s and 10 by 20s like these ones. Uh, if you guys know of anything that's out there uh, that you know you can maybe just bring in and set up, if there's a affordable, uh, I guess, price there that makes sense, we would definitely be interested in those potentially. So maybe doing like one, two, three, four, five of them They'd still have plenty enough room to get in there, gain access, and that would put us at about 45 total units. So, hey, a couple years in the making, but it is finally done, and uh, yeah, we couldn't be happier. Let me know what you guys think. Should I get those kickouts here, uh, at least to keep it coming down? I mean, I still have one good one here. I'll put that on. I don't want to put any weight on there because it is so fresh. Uh, they told us just not to park on it for a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. Looks really good. Once again, big shout out to Milhone Asphalt. Thank you guys.